So this is Bob. It's 2-5-1920 and we are here in Scarborough to turn on the DBS, the first experiment. We're kind of hoping it's not like um, <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein, but uh, we're going to see how this goes and we're going to ask if we can videotape through the whole thing so that those of you who have, have an interest um, will have an idea of what's going on and how it worked. So that's the freezing. <laughs> so it's very typical to freeze with turns at thresholds with initiation. So if you go all the way down to the exit sign, it's, and his steps are obviously shorter. Anytime he has a perceived transition? Yes, uh -huh. perceived transition. That's a good way of putting it. Mm -hmm. I can hang up at the door for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> And we'll watch him try to go in the room. So his steps are low too. So his, they're, they're low. You can hear them scuffing. They're only about one foot length. Yeah. Oh, got over that threshold pretty well. So we're looking for changes in tremor mostly because he doesn't have much bradykinesia on the right side. Really, any bradykinesia on the right side. So we're we're fiddling with the left DBS um, for the right side of the body. So, usually people don't have any side effects at half a volt, go up to one volt. Momentary kind of anything. Yeah, typically when we're going up, people get a little bit of a tingle and then it goes away. Smell something? Smell? Maybe that's just me. You can't smell anything. Rarely people's sense of smell comes back. There's no sort of <laughs> physiologic reason why that should be the case. But. Okay. So the tremor looks like it's getting a little bit better. Yeah. No side effects though. Good. No, no tremor now. Mm. And that's so at what level? What you, we're at two volts. Two volts. Mm -hmm. And you're still feeling okay. So now we're going to assess really more for side effects. We're going to see how far far we can go. So this has a nice texture. Mm -hmm. Kind of shows you. Feels weird on the right side. Or is it weird? Feels weird. Yeah. Okay. Like it's. Yeah. Something's going on. Okay. Question vision. Your vision? It must be okay. That's okay. Okay. So go up a little bit higher. Yeah, I can feel. Yeah. Give me some nice big taps. Yeah, worse. Okay. Worse. So we'll increase Brady. All right. So. So you just turned that one off. Yep. Okay. So I just moved the contact. So we're back to zero now. There's no charge coming through, and I've moved the contact up. So we've learned everything we wanted to know about the zero contact, and so now we're going to go off to the <clears> one <throat> contact. Okay. Um, but you'll see the tremor hasn't quite come back on the right side yet. Sometimes mm. we have to... Anyway, still. That looks good. Give me some taps. Good. I think one of the things Dr. Kleiman mentioned in his note was that you had some nausea. So that hasn't come back yet. That's good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was on this side. <laughs> you know, real quick. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> so that one's okay. I think part of what... It's a different, different target, though. Mm. All right. The Medtronic folks would really like this to be used for everything I, that ails you, of I course. Bet. So. Okay. It's feeling it there. That funny feeling. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're we're quite high, so. Yeah. That's, um, that's cool. not at all surprising. So we'll pop it out. Oh yeah. 
so it should be back to normal. Yeah, went back. <laughs> Amazing. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. An iPhone is making you feel things. <laughs> I know. All right, so now we're going to move over to the right side. So, same deal. Start with a very low setting. Wow, I dropped off a cliff. Just... Cool. Mm-hmm. It's much better. Much better. Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit, but... And I, this would be a good time to just mention, and I think the tremor hasn't been your biggest complaint anyway, but right. especially with tremor, we don't expect 100% control. There'll yeah. definitely be times where it'll pop up because you're stressed or fatigued. Um, our goal, especially for the tremor, is really just really function. We just want it not to be big and bothersome. Um, so that is, that's our goal. And it may come a point where we kind of have to choose, are we treating the, the gate freezing more or the tremor? And we would always choose the gate. Yep, definitely. Hmm. Just felt the tiny little thing a little louder. Mm -hmm. Taps. Still a little bradykinetic, and there was a little bradykinesia on that side. Okay, and relax. And TBS helps bradykinesia. Bradykinesia, rigidity, tremor, um, all of all that. the motor symptoms. Yeah, this except is... um, balance. It does not improve balance. Okay. Um, and um, it only improves the gate freezing if the gate freezing was getting better with levodopa. Okay. So it helps the things that levodopa helps with. So that's right. kind of the best way to remember. And, and levodopa doesn't improve postural stability. Mm. It's sort of a separate function. And there are some mm. non-motor symptoms that people report does get better. Mm. Um, people report that sleep and constipation get better, mm. which may be because they're moving better. Right, right. Did you go up? I went up. I can feel it. Mm-hmm. Not getting quite the easy tremor it hurts. control. It hurts. There, better. Okay. So two point five is our ceiling. She didn't stop for a moment. She turned it right down. <laughs> turned it right down. I thought maybe she. I can know. feel it. I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. But that feels comfortable where yeah. we are now. Yeah. Give me some taps. Okay, so bradykinesia is better there. Um, so better brady, um, mild tremor. It's like somebody would come in and start squeezing my butt. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Amazing. Alright. So we're into the middle contact, so this should be where we get the best results. Amazing how quickly it comes back. Yeah. Yeah, tremor is very good. responsive. It feels good. Maybe need some taps there. We're in a really low setting right now. Legs stop tremoring, it looks like. Mm. I 
I think you telling me how your taps feel is probably going to be our most sensitive. Yeah. So it's it's pretty subtle bradykinesia. How is it feeling? Feels good. Good. I imagine that the postural instability and gait freezing together are particular bad combination mm -hmm. so if you take care of one it might at least sure yeah it would prevent bad. balls right. yeah right. all right that's looking really good yeah. so we'll be just be looking for side effects now just the beginnings of something like Running from behind. Like, like a pressure? The pressure squeezing from behind. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. Just the beginnings of it, just very, very So I'm going to go subtle. up just a little bit higher and we'll see if that materializes a little bit more. Think yeah. it worse? Yep. Yeah. Double vision, squeeze from the back. Mm -hmm. Double mm -hmm. vision. Okay. Yep. Ah, much better. <laughs> Feels so good when it stops. Yeah. <laughs> like acupuncture. Yeah. <laughs> Never had acupuncture. It doesn't really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're on to the second to last contact. We're closing in. Bang. What was that? Bang, I would just drop it off. Hmm. Let's give you a walk, actually, just to kind of shake things out a bit. You can move this thing on. You see two? Two. Okay. Side by side, two? Mm. Or one over the other. Or a diagonal? Oh, one. Side by side. Side by side. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Well, that figured out pretty quickly. All right. So. What? Has it gone away? Pretty much, yeah. You're, you're back to zero. <clears throat> so we'll do the same. The same contact we did on the other side. Just on, on both affected. sides are on. Oh, both sides both are sides on. Okay. Are on, yeah. Good. And then we'll do the finger nose finger. Good. Taps. So <laughs> just do one at a time. Tap, tap. in your head, double oh. vision, nothing like that. Okay. Just keep your hands like that for a sec. Good. Um, cross your arms over your chest and stand up. Good. Relax your arms. Um, let's bring your, bring your walking stick just in case.
one and a half foot length now. There was like the suggestion of maybe a freeze, mm. but it really didn't fully materialize all the way down. These steps are not as long as, as they are when he's on the right tarry. Yeah. Like the gate for you is better. Yeah. <laughs> better on, and we're not on very high voltage. We didn't use very much. The hands feel like they're just rock steady. I mean, yeah. They're not, but yeah, I mean, there's like a really slight mm -hmm. tremor, but nothing that's that's going to be that noticeable or, or even annoying, I would think. Well, you know, I don't know how to explain what the feeling is like when they're shaking and, they're, and you're off. Yeah. And when you're on. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's more than just a, a, an absence of shaking. There's feeling like you're in control. Mm. That makes sense. Good. Well, that's a, that's a good thing to program to, I think. So I'm trying mm. to get that feeling. Yep. Good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And I can see one of you. So you chose the good. <laughs> number one lead on both yeah, sides? Yeah, so we're on the one contact mm -hmm. on both sides. So we're face plus, well, it's, yeah, we call it nine, but it's it's effectively the one. And it's one volt. Yeah, so we're in one volt the, on the right side of the brain and we're at 1.7 volts on the left side of the brain. Um, low, as well. Uh, I'd say sort of medium amounts would be sort of in the